Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the lounge. This is your first group break. First break, actually, in total today. Uh, it is our next edition. Uh, let's see which one this is. This is number... Oh, there's that pesky voice again. That sounds terrible. Ugh, I hate the sound of my own voice. All right, break number three of the famous first. We're going to open it up. We're going to see what uh, additions we get here, see what's what. And then what we'll do is we'll random the names to show you who is going to draft in what uh, order. Um, and then we'll we'll go over the rest of the stuff at the end. So but first, let's just get cracking on uh, the old box here. So good luck to everybody. Hopefully we find some good older famous firsts here. I know Sean usually does this, but he has some business to take care of, so... Uh, I'll step right in. All right. Oh, I like this lift, though. This is pretty cool. Oh, very nice. Check out the, uh, there you go. Batman Litho with uh, the Joker. Very nice. Signed by the, uh, I guess it's signed by the artist. But uh, check out that very cool litho there. Very nice. This is Joe Khan. So the person who gets number 12 in the draft is going to get that litho. So the last person in the draft will receive the uh, Joker litho. Okay, let's get cracking on these. one how about a 9.8 uh, it's got first appearance of Martinez the governor and the town of Woodbury pin up on the back cover of Cliff Rathburn uh, it's a char Charlie Adlard cover and art and a Robert Kirkman story it's Walking Dead number 27 9.8 see the back art they were talking about so somebody will get to go home with that somebody will very much enjoy that one I bet Spider-Man number 18 graded a 6.0 there. That's a killer uh, comic. There you go. On our site, for some reason you couldn't catch it live, then Very you nice. Watch it, you could watch a recording of it on YouTube. Another good one here. And uh, this Albert Dorn here is definitely looking for people who like to draw. Can't read all that, but uh, Albert Albert's definitely looking for people who like to draw. If you do, uh, don't forget to send it in to Studio 7386 at Westport, Connecticut. Because I'm sure that's still there. But uh, very cool comic. Shooter Story, Al Plastino and Jim Mooney Art, Kurt Swan and George Klein cover. 
Uh, origin and first appearance of Parasite, Raymond Maxwell Jensen. Superman Centerfold Pinup by Kurt Swan. It is Action Comics. 340 graded to 5.0. Nice Superman one there. The Power of Parasite. Superman has. Most dangerous villain Superman has ever faced. I beg to differ, but that's what the comic said. Alright, next one again there. What's on the back here? Anything fun? Command your own missile firing tank in battle. Mattel's Switch and Go Battle Set. Oh. Uh, I love when toys were less PC back in the day. John Byrne story, Wills Porticillo and Art Hibbert cover art. It's the first appearance of Bishop, Malcolm, and Randall in cameo on last page. Uh, direct editions have eight, eight page ad inserts. That is the notes on it. It's Uncanny X Men 282 with a 9.4. There you go. His name is Bishop. There you go, you can see the grading right there. Awesome. Back when comics were still a buck. Unbelievable. Oh, and don't forget to check out the uh, LJN Nintendo Wolverine game while you're at it. <coughs> That's a cool one, I like that one though a lot. I know we're possibly going to see <laughs> Cable in the next uh, Deadpool movie. So hopefully we'll see Bishop soon in the Marvel Universe. I didn't see. Mm. There was one of the new series that I did not see. I like might have been. Maybe that was one. Okay, what do we got here? We have from April of '95. It's a Garth Ennis story, Steve Dillon art, and Glenn Favory cover. First full appearance of Jesse Custer, Tulip Cassidy, and Saints of Killers. It's Preacher number one. Graded a 9.2. Season 2 is just going to be starting up. Oh. Um, TV, AMC. There you go. I'm sure the fans at home can hear you. This mic picks up everything. Uh, I, wasn't talking about, I, was, I was trying to feed you some info. I know you were, but I'm saying you were saying it loud enough that oh, I, maybe I don't even have to repeat it. <laughs> maybe I don't even have to repeat it. But if you didn't hear him, Season 2 starting up on television. I believe you said AMC. AMC, yeah. Oh, okay. So same, same, same home as Walking Dead. That's right. And uh, there's Candyman, Farewell to the Flesh. Gross. All right. On to the next one. So it is a 
Tony Isabella Story, Trevor Von Eden, and Frank Springer Art. It's a Rich Buckler and Frank Springer cover. Uh, origin and first appearance of Black Lightning, Jefferson Pierce. So I'm sure you got the idea. From April of 77, Black Lightning number one, graded a 9.4. I'm a big DC guy, so that's uh, cool to see. I always wondered why DC had Black Lightning, but then earlier, or excuse me, later on in the cartoons, they had Black Vulcan. And there's no parallel between the two. Either way, very nice. See anything good to read on there? Thunderous Origin issue. And uh, how about uh, Make Money, Get Prizes with Fast Selling American Seeds? Very intriguing. All right, either way, there's Black Lightning. Then take it, you shall. I'm starting up. You're, be you're being proactive. Yeah, pretty much. Marvel fans out there. The Jim Shooter story of Mike, Zach, and John B. The Art with a Bob Layton cover. It's the first appearance of the new Spider Woman, Julia Carpenter. How about Secret Wars 7 from November of 84? Graded a 9.8. Cool cover there. Captain America is the centerpiece there, and everybody fighting him around him. Great looking cover. The death of an Avenger, the X-Men's greatest battle, and introducing all new Spider-Woman. Oh look, there is the uh, black costume Spider-Man at the bottom there. Anything good on the back? Star Wars the arcade game comes home. Ah yes. Oh. This is for the Atari. Uh, the ColecoVision and the Commodore 64. Unbelievable. ColecoVision. That was a thing. Oh, don't forget the uh, Atari home computer as well. It's for. You're right. Those, those back ads are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. Yes. Okay. Jack Abel art and a George Perez and Joe Rubenstein cover. It is the origin and first full appearance of the Taskmaster. Taskmaster, excuse me, and a letter from Kurt Busick. It's Avengers 196, graded a 5.5. It is. You remember this? You remember this one? There he is, the Taskmaster. Anything the Avengers can do, I can do better. He's looking for men who like to kill. In case anybody was wondering. There it is. Anything good here? Uh, oh, Star Trek model kits. Those were for kids who uh, liked Star Trek. And uh, possibly didn't leave the house much, but hey. Who am I to judge? Saying they didn't leave the house because model kits just take a long time. That's all. I know. I'm not doing 
doing anything wrong here. I'm just enjoying opening some comics. All right, sir. This definitely looks like more of a 90s one. That's cool. Uh, Luis Simonson story with a John Bogenvo and Dennis Jenkins. Okay. Cover art, cover and art. Uh, so this is the beginning of the end. It's the first full appearance of Doomsday. Superman the Man of Steel 18 rated a 9.6. In the end, Doomsday. Jank. Probably jank. And, uh... Here's a brainy idea. How about you uh, pick up Mystic Quest from uh, Squaresoft? All this for uh, 40 bucks. Basically, they're saying it's a brain transplant for 40 bucks. So there you go. 9.6. Full Doomsday appearance. I would have felt like it was really degrading if I would have just laid down on the floor for you, though. At least prop it up so you don't have to bend over as much. I know you're mad. Yeah. Your, your peach can. I do what I can. Help me help you. Do I not cut these? I have a... But I did cut them. I guess it wasn't long, long enough. How about, uh, it's a John Byrne story and art, uh, John Byrne and Terry Austin cover. This is awesome. It's the first appearance of Puck and Marina. It's the origin of Alpha Flight. Alpha Flight, number one, graded a 9.2. That is awesome. Is that Captain Canuck on there? I believe that is. That is Captain Canuck. One side superheroes. This is a job only we can handle. First dynamic double size issue. I love Puck though. I've definitely seen him before. That's awesome. Puck and Captain Canuck. And uh, how about you get your hands on some Frogger action there? There you go. That's cool. Alright, two more to go here, and then we're going to find out uh, the draft order for y'all. We're going to do a little random.org. story, cover, and art. Uh, it's the first appearance of Beta Ray Bill and a Nick Fury appearance. <coughs> it's from November of 83, 4, 337, rated a 9.2. And, uh, hey, don't forget to get that Return of the Jedi Death Star Battle video game cartridge. Because zero hour, hour is approaching. From the Parker Brothers. Alright. I'll stop yapping and we'll get on to our last comic here and then we'll do the random. story John Romita cover Neil Adams Howard Chaikin and Frank Chiramonte art so Neil Adams I've heard of that guy he seems like a pretty big deal uh, it's War of the Worlds first appearance of Kill Raven 
So it's Amazing Adventures number 18 from uh, May of 73 to Marvel. It is graded 9.0. A niner there. Kill rate. The Power Pack premiere of Startling New Series. They call him Kill Rate. And there you are. Anything on the back? Oh, get money. Make money, get prizes. Alright, there you go. Alright, so there's the last comic. Now we're going to take care of who's going to draft where. So let's... Let's go here first. Here is our spreadsheet of uh, all the names. And we're going to take care of this pretty quickly. Just like anything else, we do the dice roll here. Two dies. It's got to be three or more it is. That's four, five, six. Go to the list randomizer. Let's grab your names all in alphabetical order there. All right, so remember six times, and here we go. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and last time here, six. There it is. And let's just put it in there for good measure. And here's going to be our order. So, Leonard L., you have first overall. Mike C., then Juan L., Carl G., Nick F., Clifton M., Daniel F., Leonard L. again. You just random the numbers. Oh, you random the numbers, too, eh? Whatever number goes next. To oh. That's why the numbers are there. That's why the numbers are there? I thought you were just showing the spots. No. Oh, okay. Well, let's dice roll that, then. Two die. There you go. Three, four, five. So five times. Interesting. All right, one, two, three, four, and a fiver. So this is the way we've done it in every break, so we are doing it no differently than every other comic break we've had. I guess we'll just do it backwards this time. We'll fix it later on, don't worry. We'll fix it when it's done. All right, so Leonard L., you have the number nine pick. Mike C., you have the number ten pick. Juan L., you have the number eight pick. Carl G., you have the number five. Nick F. with four. Clifton M. with six. Daniel F. with number one overall. Leonard L. with 11. Uh, Jordan H. with 12. Nick F. with two. Daniel F. with three. And Dennis T. with seven. So now that that's done and you know where you are picking... We are going to send out an email to everybody. Uh, you will send us a draft list or let us know if you're going to be live during the draft. So just one or two options. You're going to be live or just give us your list uh, in order of what you would want. And then the draft will be at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. We'll give you guys 24 hours to decide. And uh, you'll be back here tomorrow. And as you can see, uh, what's your name again? Sean. <laughs> Sean the Urban Cowboy is fixing the order so you can all see it on the screen like that. There you go. As is tradition. There you go. So we'll give you guys just a couple we'll we'll freeze it a couple seconds just so you can see. Reference this right here. There you go. Reference that side right there. All right, so there it is, you guys. We are finito with this portion of it, and we'll be back soon with a hockey mixer. Thanks for tuning in.